Hey there folks and welcome back to the I Am CDB project. I of course am your host CDB. You are not and today we're going to do a head shaving video with the same as we use for the face which is um, Ariana and Evans Asian Plum. And I'll use the game changer at least for a pass on my head because I haven't used a DE on the dome for a little bit on video. I tend to use it at least once or twice a week off video but today I'll at least do a pass with it and then I'll clean it up with my Defender. Guys, I just get a much better shave out of cards on my head, and I think it's in part due to this pivoting and the angle of attack, um, which is different. As you can see, the way that lays, when I orient them the same, you know, the, the, the angle there's a little different, and this one just seems to hug the dome a little more. Let's get a little water here on the dome, and we'll get after it a little bit. All right, here we go with our Ariana Evans Asian Plum, which I think is good stuff. And I hope if you've tried it, you do uh, as well. It's a very good performer. It's got the goat's milk and all that uh, good stuff. To be honest, I've always felt like, you know, formulas uh, from one to the next, if it's a good sort of, if it's a reputable brand of soap, it's probably gonna be pretty good. Your skin may respond better to you know, goat's milk and lanolin and different, you know, ingredients. But generally, everything is so doggone good that I think really most of the reputable products do a great job. So let's start out with our game changer today and see how we do with our DE. And again, it's been a while since I've uh, used one on video, but I do try to uh, try to use one about once or twice, twice a week or so. Usually I end up cleaning it up with a uh, cart because the cart just quite frankly does a better job for me. And I know a lot of people, to a lot of people that is sort of blasphemy, but uh, it just works better for me. So I'm an advocate of using whatever works best for you, whatever soap, whatever razor. Uh, and I'm really not going to tell you not to use certain things. Now I do advise people to, you know, keep budget in mind. And I don't think there's a compelling reason to spend a ton of money on, you know, the most expensive premium products. Cause quite frankly, I don't think they offer commensurate value to their price. In fact, I think a lot of times people simply get hoodwinked and they waste their money, bottom line. And there are a lot of veteran wet shavers, and by that I mean people who've been doing it, you know, let's say at least three years, but you know, upwards of 20 years, and they'll tell you pretty much the same thing, that there's sort of a, a, a natural progression that people go through, and in the beginning they buy everything, and they think every next thing is better than the previous. And then after a while they sort of sell in, they stop buying so much stuff, and they start you know, using things for a number of days in a row instead of just one soap one day, one soap the next, and one razor one day, one the next. That's when you really begin to learn, I think, uh, what really works well for you. When you use a razor for a week or a month at a time straight, and then you go back and use something you haven't used for a while and sort of compare them, you get a feel for it. If you're switching every day, sometimes it's really hard to tell, and I know because I used to do that, um, uh, well, I did it for years, and so last couple of years, I've spent more time uh, using things multiple days in a row, and uh, I've actually learned a lot more about products, and the conclusion that I've come to is everything's pretty dog good. <laughs> Some a little better than others, but, you know, the gap is like this. It's There's not a huge gap anymore, folks, and um, there are folks who tell you there is, and, and it may be for them, but for me, not so much. Maybe I'll do a second pass with the D, and I'll do a cleanup pass with the uh, Defender. That would be a workable solution, I would think. That way I'm getting a, mostly a full DE shave. But again, when I'm finished with this DE, regardless of how hard I try and I do a cleanup, I'll just have places, uh, certain tough spots that just aren't, just don't respond as well. To, um, 
to a D as far as shaving. It just doesn't work as well, bottom line. All right. This is a good soap, by the way. Very, very good. The brush, by the way, is that Razor Rock uh, 400. Let's get some of that off. Okay. I always start around my ears because it's very easy to cut your ears while head shaving if you're not careful. I have done it a couple of times and uh, it's not hard to do so. I always start right there most times. And then I'll come back here and sort of go that way. But you should really develop whatever technique works best for you. I'll tell you one thing. This razor glides quite well on this uh, Ariana and Evans Asian Plum. It is a quite a nice soap with a good performance. And the skin feels very good after using it as well, which is really nice. See, I can still feel, even with the razor there, quite a bit of uh, stubble. It's, it needs worked on, but you know, the contours of the head, the little gaps, creases, like in the very back, you'll usually have a little bit of a cre It's very difficult to get with the D. Now, some people do it uh, very well and they get a fantastic shave with the DE. Now, granted, I've only been shaving my head uh, all over a year. Well, March was a year and now it's August, so over a year, but not nearly as long as some. And so I'm just not as talented with the DE as some, but um, I just really prefer the the card. It really hugs the dome and it just seems to do a better job for me. And so that's why you see me mostly using it. And again, I advocate using whatever you doggone please, whatever works best for you, even if it's not entirely traditional. I think the closer you get to being traditional in terms of the style, meaning multiple passes, that to me, as far as traditional wet shaving goes, multiple passes, progressive hair or beard reduction is the way to go. And if you do that product wise, you can pretty much use whatever you want. As long as I think if you stay somewhat true to multiple passes rather than trying to do it in one, you're probably okay. Product-wise, you could use anything. You could probably use that doggone foam. Now, I don't think your skin's probably gonna feel as nice uh, if you do so, but you can, I'm sure. All right, there is a pass, two passes with the DE, and I still feel, you know, there are just areas where there's, it just doesn't work as well, but that's all right. We'll do some cleanup. Maybe we'll do two quick cleanup passes with the card and that will get me where I need to be and it doesn't really take long with the card you don't have to be quite as careful although you should be you know you should always be as careful as you can be um, but you can you know go a little quicker just because it's not quite as the chances of cutting yourself are not quite as much as if, at least for me, especially on the dome. See, back in here, there's some areas I really feel that I miss. And you can go fairly quick, like so. It just feels more comfortable for me. And I don't have to be quite as careful, and quite frankly, it does a better job. And that's what we're after, after all. I Nice, close, clean shave with hopefully zero irritation, creepers, weepers, cuts, and all that good stuff. And if you pull that off, I don't care what equipment you use, be happy with it. If you want to spend a ton of money on premium products and they work well for you, go for it. If you have it, just don't put yourself in the poorhouse doing so. What I will tell you very, very candidly and frankly is, uh, over the years, I spent a ton of money on stuff, and now I wish I hadn't, because a lot of it was just absolute and utter waste. It was pursuing, you know, in the pursuit of the best product, and also I was enjoying it and making videos and stuff, but mostly it was just waste. And in retrospect, I sure could have uh, put that money to better use 
on other things. Now that is not to say that you should, you know, forego if you really enjoy the hobby and you have a little extra scratch. But um, really, I didn't get much out of it. I mean, I tried a lot of great products, and uh, but ultimately, like I said, I, I come to the conclusion that everything's pretty doggone good. So. You know, I didn't really get <laughs> much out of it for a while. I spent a whale of money, which I don't really spend anymore. I mean, the first thing I bought for a while is the uh, is the Razor Rock Game Changer there, which is, you know, not an expensive uh, razor. And that's the first thing I bought for months, uh, other than I replaced Executive Man by Sterling that I broke. But other than that, I'm just not buying a lot of stuff because I don't see a compelling reason to do so when somebody's coming out with something new now the benefit um, unless it's you know maybe a particular type of hardware I'm not finding that there's you know that much difference especially in all these soap formulas and stuff there is some difference to be sure but look my advice is whenever you see something and you know they're promising that it's you know, the greatest, um, take it with a grain of salt. It's probably gonna be good and maybe a little better, but it won't be like two, three times better generally, unless they're a brand new uh, artisan. Um, artisans do some improve over time and certainly their first batch is not as good as, you know, when they really refine their formulas and stuff. But once they get to a certain point, when they've been doing it for a few years, you can, probably rest assured their stuff is pretty doggone good and you know in year five six or seven it's probably not going to be three times better than year three might be a little but uh, you know the places like i said before where they can distinguish themselves and it's really in value in scents like doing original scents or finding other scents to replicate and i'm just not one of those guys that care uh if somebody does it inspired by sense or dupish type sense. It doesn't bother, bother me at all. In fact, I like it because it allows me to enjoy a wonderful scent without spending, you know, two or $300 for two or three ounces of cologne. So I actually uh, enjoy it. Doesn't bother me at all. All right, let's see how we do. Now we're doing well. Let's see. Yeah, now we've got a decent. There are spots, usually the real trouble spots are right here and right here, which I have to kind of come up that way. But I'll tell you what, this Ariana and Evans has enough residual slickness to where I can hit those spots without having to re-lather, and it's not a problem. And if you have a great soap, it will do that. So while I talk about, you know, um, just make sure whatever soap you use, and it does have some level of residual slickness. And if you're new, I always say I don't recommend um, going over these spots the way I am. But I know I can get away with it. It's not going to give me irritation or weepers or cuts because I can feel it. You really do develop a, a feel for it over time, as I'm sure some of the guys who have been shaving their heads a long time can attest, like Ronnie Greer and... Taylor and those guys who've been doing head shaving far longer than I have. They can, I'm sure they would attest that you could just, you'd, you can feel when something's working well and you just go with it. And there we go. That was a beautiful head shave. Let me uh, rinse the dome. We'll come back and get to the post. Stay tuned. All right. And normally we'd slap on some Thayer's, but since I'm getting ready to get in the shower, I will forgo this and I'll put it on when I get out. And when I do, I'll be using this, uh, Captain's Reserve by Beaver Woodwright, which is great stuff. So today we used the Game Changer and then we cleaned it up with the Defender, which has worked very nice for me on the dome. Both are very nice razors in my estimation. We used Ariana and Evans Asian Plum. If you like the scent of plum, this is very nice. And of course our Timeless Bow and the Razor Rock uh, 400. This one with the aluminum weighty handle. And I want to thank everybody once again for joining. Until next time, I've been your host, EDB. You are not. God bless.